Bear Tom Bro host God's Wool, and you're listening to Dad's Dope, the podcast where we talk about dope things. Whether it's nerdy stuff from video games, anime, movie, TV, to cool events that are happening in the area, having great interviews with great people, and whatever other dope things that you might suggest, we talk about here, and you know it's going to be a great time. So join us for the show. So today we have Josh, of course, and then we also have my homie Sam over here. And uh, we're going to talk about our favorite hip hop albums that came out in 2015. We let them sit for a little bit, you know, we wanted just to see if they were still good, you know, after so long. We got hyped up, we were like, oh my gosh, they came out, and now they're out, and they've been out, and we're going to talk about them. So first, we're going to start with Logic, you know, just to, you know, get started with that. We're going to go to J. Cole, then we're going to go to Tetsu and Youth, then we're going to go with Kendrick Lamar. So let's get started with this. So, Logic. Who is this guy and yeah. why should listen as wisdom as death? Don't give a damn, I'm repping young and I just tell my last breath easily. My dark is confessing is lyrical aggression through indiscretion that triggers anti depression when addressing right. my profession so, in every session. Uh, logic is classified, I would, we, I'd say everyone classifies him as a white rapper. Mm-hmm. Um, his father's actually black, uh-huh. his mom's white. Well, that's the thing is that if you look at like J. Cole, he's mixed too. Yeah, J. Cole is definitely on the other side of the mix. I forget like, about he, that. He's yeah, more on the yeah. average. And Drake is mixed. Yeah, Drake is a weird looking dude. In <laughs> yeah, I'll give you that. Okay. Same okay. Money makes everyone pretty. On the side, like, Drake's cool, whatever. You, if you like Drake, that's cool. Uh-huh. Uh, my thing is, on the subject of logic, mm. uh, a lot of people would just dismiss him off the top mm. because, you know, how hip hop is flooded with other races. Um, <laughs> black so, people. <laughs> yeah. No, we're black I mean, too. so it's like when you, when you look at white people, it's like you just don't expect, that, expect them to be that great. Uh-huh. And when they do make it that top to that top level, uh, they're usually, they usually are something mm. to yeah. look at. Like Eminem, for sure. Yeah, but you got to break through first as mm. a white person. Mm. That's mm. the thing. Mm. Otherwise, you just, look, you just look gimmicky. Yeah. That's why I thought of Asher Roth, honestly. Nice. Like, I, you know, like when he did the I Love College song. I Love College was a dark time. Yeah. If you have a drink, would you please put it in the air? But the thing is, after, like, when you really look at Ashroth, like, you know how I feel about Ashroth. Uh-huh. Regardless of what you guys feel about this, I really like Ashroth and Macklemore and Action Bronson. Like, I don't have a problem with any of the white dudes. Dude, I would even go with Mac Miller. Mac Ooh, Miller I didn't his, like Mac Miller. Mac Miller was very, uh, I loved his he was very I average to me, That's but little, he didn't yeah. suck. Uh-huh. That's the thing. Mac Miller wasn't crazy, but he did not suck. All right, I'll give that, I'll give that, I'll give that. I got these rappers all breaking up a sweat Cause every time I get up on the mic I come correct and I learn to He was a rapper, he was another person mm-hmm. That's how I looked at him He was mm-hmm. another person out Fair there enough. doing his thing, whatever Nothing special mm-hmm. um, Asheroth, he had some soulful Like, he's the most soulful white dude I was Like, you might meet on the planet It's mm-hmm. crazy because you wouldn't see that from I Love College uh-huh. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to have another episode about that Oh cause... man, so after that After that, uh, after I Love College He like just kind of dropped off that whole mainstream thing Like he didn't even care mm-hmm. And that's why he never took off Because you could tell like he just His music was like no big crazy hits like that It was just like him just dropping bombs And I mm-hmm. loved it all okay. I was about it Okay. Logic, he would definitely be in that same bracket But the thing is with Logic is um, He's got a great flow First off, his flow is amazing uh, Second, it's just like his, he's got a lot of content. So if you don't like to like hear people speak to you, if you'd rather just like some some like club bangers, which is cool too, mm-hmm. then logic isn't for you. Mm-hmm. He has a couple beats that like kind of pick up the tempo a little bit, but it's way more uh, nighttime like substance. Like you just chilling mm-hmm. with some friends, you got that playing in the background sometimes. You know what I mean? Like or I agree with that. Like yeah, last year he came over to album. Uh, Oh, we're talking about Under Pressure, yeah. Under yeah, Pressure, pressure came yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, he came out under, yeah, last year. I'm sorry, I couldn't remember the name. Mm-hmm. But Under Pressure was a dope album. Uh, we're so fucking much, my greatest fear is I'ma die alone. Every diamond in my chain, yeah, that's a milestone. I'm loving it, I'm People loving it. calling me, asking me for money, man. Uh, the only thing I'ma give you motherfuckers is yeah. a dial flash back to the But, um, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, no, I mean, honestly, like, I listened to it, and, like, the song that got me was Driving Miss Daisy, because it had Childish Gambino on it, I was like, oh, Josh Gambino's on this? All right, let's listen to this. And then I listened, like, I actually liked the Logic part more than I liked the Josh Gambino part. And I was hooked, and then I got the album, and then I was just like, this guy is really good. Somewhere the shit done got crazy. I just been driving this Daisy with my hands on the steering wheel and my eyes on the pavement. I give a fuck about what they went. I owe my lawyer a payment. Ain't talking about no arraignment. Now I wonder what the rain went. I just been all in my mind. Homies tell me I'm but stressing. I've been some guys so have different. Yeah, I'm gonna have to disagree with you on this guy is really good. I mean, I'm, I admit this is the first. Today is the first time I listened to this album. 
but <laughs> you I said today, today, like you I joking? didn't. No, you I'm not joking. Opinion, right? No, no, Gospel <laughs> told me, hey, listen to this album. All right, really? I, yeah. So I mean, I wasn't really big in the logic, obviously, but it just seemed like he was just spitting. I mean, there's a lot of rappers that just spit, hmm. and so I didn't. It didn't stand out to me initially as something really unique. I have to disagree with that, though. I don't feel like he was just Why spitting. Why bother screen, dog? He's only listening to the album for a day. <laughs> I mean, true, true, true. He's a but, no way. But don't listen to him right now, right? J. Cole listen to him, whatever, you know, but here... That was no. my... This is like a first impression. Mm-hmm. And I think that's fair. Okay, I think we'll that's take fair. That. I'll say that. I'll, I'll for me, because I like Logic... I like the Logic album because, like, it's a whole story. You know, like, it's him telling his life... And like his experiences in a very good way. And it was his first commercial album. Uh, exactly. I usually mean, he just uh, mix, mixes beats and they're amazing. Mm-hmm. That dude will take anyone's beat and just rock it mm-hmm. like for days. Like he'll have mixtapes that are better mm-hmm. than the actual album. Yeah. And that's what that's what makes it crazy. Mm-hmm. Like this is his first actual album where he has his own beats. It's a little different, but it's still dope. Yeah. I think he did a wonderful job. I mean, like he he went super fast. Like you know, he's able to to speak really quickly, but you can still understand what he says. Like, what, do you think that's fair to say? Yeah, I mean, everything was really intelligible. I, I just, I mean, I respect the skill uh-huh. and intelligible the content. Word? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We have yeah, two. Yeah. We have two smart dudes. In. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I understood the story. I understood all the rap and the content. The beats were pretty good, but it just didn't stand out to me as something that was like you know game changing or something uh-huh. that was different than what's already out there. Mm. All right. Okay. I, I think you. that's fair. I think that's fair. I'm going to use that, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so about Oh, Go God. Ahead. Okay, no, that's totally fair. Like, I, I feel like that's fair to say, and, you know, like, I really think that, like, his album's good. Like, I feel like it had, like, a really good story. Definitely check it out yourself. He has a standard version and a deluxe version with has a few other songs. That's one with the Childish Gambino song on it. Good song. Yeah, I mean, you know, I guess before we, you know, head off of Logic, you know, what, what were some of your favorite songs on it? Uh, Driving Miss Daisy is very chill. Uh-huh. It's a lot of songs that you'll be able to just drive with. Mm-hmm. Like, you're by yourself in the car, maybe you got your girl with you, and you just, you're just driving. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's cool. Soul Food was sick to me. Mm-hmm. Like, it was definitely something that caught me at the right time mm-hmm. of the day. Yeah, that was a song that you sent to me, oh, and yeah. I was like, this guy is sick. He can get, yeah. yeah Soul Food, like, if you haven't heard Logic, that's kind of, that's kind of the epitome of what he does. Mm-hmm. He has a, a lot of songs he'll just talk mm-hmm. about, like, you know, whatever, and it's cool. Yeah. But so when you went to substance, I guess right there. Mm-hmm. God damn, god damn, conversations with legends. Crazy how one day your idols can turn it to your brethren. Bitches, we severin. Hit up my jeweler, watch them freezes. Breaking bread like I'm Jesus. My favorite was Bounce. It was like kind of what he did the best, in my opinion. Mm, I really that's my least favorite, but. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. I guess. <laughs> right. Right. No, I, mean, I, I mean, hey, everyone's the talented your opinions, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I thought that was dope. I thought whenever he just spits and goes in, that's the part that I like. Okay. I, know. I got it, I want it, I need it. We live in an era where they get deleted. I'm wondering if I'm gonna make it, man. Fuck it, I take it. That record, I break it. These bitches, they love it, but I never cover it. I just keep it going. That's why I be flowing. I'm already knowing it's like that I'm living. Don't know what I'm giving. It's so hard not to give it. Cool. And for me, my favorite word is buried alive. Like, just, that was, that like, was it was very chill. And then, like, he speeds up with it, and then, like, it has a really good flow to me. And, like, it just sort of mirrors a lot of my own feelings, I guess. And I really wonder what their parents are. So. Look around, everything changes. It feels like I've been buried alive. He yeah. is good at flowing with the Exactly. Music, right? So definitely, if you're looking for some good flow, definitely that's your guy. So let's move on to Tetsu and Youth. Um, okay. Okay, so before we get started, mm. let me tell y'all, I was a huge Lupe stan. Past tense. Yeah. That's a crazy, was. like, reference. Lupe yeah. stan. I didn't even know if people use words like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, everyone yeah. has stan. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah, I, I thought stan was, like, just for that song. Oh, no. Like, no it's yeah. pretty general. Yeah, like, yeah, when, like, once you love a song, or once you love a guy or a person or whatever that much, I guess, you know, like, I feel. And I was literally that guy. I was like, oh. <laughs> Lupe. He was. I, I was there. Love you, Lupe. Like, like, we're talking about now. We're still right. crying. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I get emotional. Man said life ain't easy. When niggas gotta eat, that's when shit get greasy. Streets be all like feed me, feed me. When niggas gotta eat, that's when shit get greasy. Like Lupe, like was my shiznit, and we have to have a future episode for that. I mean, like you were just showing me um, Food Liquor too. Oh yeah. But honestly, Wait, I go felt, back. yeah, go back in time for a second. Right? Like yeah, honestly, so. like I felt I did not like Blue and Liquor too, and like Lasers, uh, of course, everyone was like, "Oh, that's when Lupe fell off." I like Lasers. Though. Lasers was fine. I thought Lasers was I pretty good Lasers. to me. Oh, yeah, 
I mean, of course, you know, he has his first two albums, you know? That's it's hard to compete yeah, 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 right? The cool is just oh, off the cool. Food and Liquor and the Cool, man. It's right. hard to compete. Mm-hmm. The, the, okay, so first off, Food and Liquor, the first time he released, got in the Hip Hop Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. And there you the, go. the Cool is like, um, it's a masterpiece. Mm-hmm. Like, that album, you can't really get tired. That's timeless. You can't mm-hmm. get tired of that album. Mm-hmm. Really. You can stop playing it for a little bit, but you can always come back to it. Exactly. Uh-huh. Exactly. You don't, and it's it's all a story that goes together. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. My cool young history, yeah. And yeah, no, that was that was cold. It, like it was a classic <laughs> album. But he changed a lot. Yeah. As, as an artist, Lupe went from what we see today, or he went from back then. He was way more on the on the side of like, we gotta get out of Chicago. Mm-hmm. The streets are like whatever. It's it's fucked up down here. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like he was definitely more on the side of um. The home front, mm-hmm. like what's going on in America, like that—that's really messed up. And like the fact that we're in the streets and this is happening, this is happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was his—that was his struggle. Yeah. Like he—he uh, he came from the west side of Chicago, so yeah. it's, it's same tough. place as Chief Keith, mm-hmm. you know what that's at. But Lupe is a lot different mm-hmm. in how he holds He's himself. He's intelligible, dude. Intelligible. Hey. But yeah, man. Now he's a lot more. As he got a little bit older, because mm-hmm. he was about our age when he started, he was like 21. Mm-hmm. They found him like at his house chilling. Yeah. And they just walked away. I remember they walked in on him. They had comic books everywhere. <laughs> Lupe. Yeah. So now it's just like now he's a little bit older. I guess he's seen the world a lot more for what it is. Because you know he's a he's on a soccer team. Yeah. And a national soccer team. He's like their uh, something. He's, he's a big part that. of their team. He does a lot of stuff. He was on TV. He was on like Bill O'Reilly's show or something. Yeah, he's talking on about news. politics. Like, he's what? on every like he he's putting his fingers on a lot of things. So I invited Mr. Fiasco on the Factor to discuss it. What do you mean, President Obama is a terrorist? My fight against terrorism to me, the biggest terrorist is Obama in the United States of America. To put it into context. Um, I was asked about a song that I did called Words I Never Said, which uh, addresses terrorism. I really think the He's more radical feeling. Mm-hmm. Like, he'll, he'll say outright, he doesn't like what Obama's doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, especially being a black person, yeah. black people hate that. Right. Like, right. That's another so How could you say that about Obama? Like, yeah. Yeah. And, like, honestly, like, I feel like I didn't have a problem with what Lupe was saying. Like, for me, I guess it was, like, how he was saying it. Like, where it felt like before where it was vibing with me. It, it, mad, it felt, yeah, it felt like he was yelling at me. You yeah. know, and that's what he is, though. That's yeah. what that's, that's the whole thing. thing. I feel like you catch this with a lot of people mm-hmm. when they first realize like how fucked up things are, mm-hmm. or they see the bigger scale of things. Mm-hmm. They like they gotta tell people. Yeah, and I feel like Lupe. He may be here already. I don't know. I'm just saying from mm-hmm. what I saw, it looked like yeah, he figured that like he heard that stuff from mm-hmm. somebody. Like he was getting it. Mm-hmm. And he was pissed because mm-hmm. he was just the whole album was just him like mad. Yeah, <laughs> except for a couple songs. Yeah, yeah, and like I guess for me, like what disappointed me was because like I agreed with him you know like oh, oh yeah. a lot of things I was like why are you looking at me man like you know, like, we're <laughs> cool man like like I agree with you and then like so like I didn't like Food and Liquor 2 you know Lasers you know like I liked it but like you know definitely was the beginning of like the fall off so I was that like was, that eh. was when Lupe started changing it up yeah and like I mean of course he had to you know like with his Atlantic record we're gonna have to have like an episode on Lupe in the future oh, too yeah, so like, cool. here we are making ideas for the future but you know so then like when Tetsu and Youth came out like I was Hesitant, you know, like Me I was too. like, I don't know, I don't want to listen to it. Yeah, like I was like, I, I was on his mailing list, and I was like, okay, I guess I'll check this it out. On his mailing list. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Sign me up for the newsletter. So then I listened to it on YouTube. And I listened to it like this is the dumbest thing ever, right? I listened to a sped up version, <laughs> and I didn't know it was sped up, man. Like I was like, I don't like this. I can't even understand what he's saying. <laughs> and then I remember, I remember talking to my friend Justin, and he was like, Yo, did you listen to it on Spotify? And I was like, No, and it's like, Well. Let's do our Spotify, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I, I, everything makes sense now." I loved it. I bought the album that day, and haven't looked back. And I think it's still hype. It's different. You know, like for me, hype is not the word to describe. Okay, it. Yeah, I wouldn't say <laughs> I wouldn't say hype. Right. I wouldn't say hype, but I still like it. I'm it's like, very yeah. good. Yeah, it's a. It's, it's very dense though. Like I'm still looking at like rap I mean, genius. Oh, it's like, definitely a rap genius album. Yeah, uh-huh, exactly. Yeah. Like you have, you have to. to. Mm-hmm. Martin Luther, Luther. Add a King. King. Add a junior, some Bible verses, couple sooner, sooner, and they K47. That's a revolution. Like, like, honestly, like, I'm just like, what are we doing? Like, the thing is with Lupe, like, you know this. Uh, Lupe will go straight over your head with things. Mm-hmm. Like, you won't even, like, you will have that album, mm-hmm. that song, for about five years before mm-hmm. you realize that dude said something in that song. Uh, You're like, wow. You're right. I got like, in front of me the whole time. Yeah, God, like, eat. like, I was just like, oh my gosh, he's talking about food, but a gangster at the same time? Yeah, man, that's crazy, man. He's. He, he's cold. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, and like honestly, like I like like how he went on this. Like you know, first starts off with mural. You know, like, that's a nine minute song. Uh, it does, like, yeah. No Out hooks. Box. Yeah, we're just going. Like, you know what I'm cool? Yeah. Like it's like what we do, or we just talk about things. But he raps mm -hmm. for nine minutes straight, like to himself, like mm -hmm. talk to himself, and like, yo, this is what I'm mm -hmm. into. And he just went painting a mural, like a picture uh -huh. of his life. Uh -huh. He went from everything. He, uh -huh. covered, he went from the streets of Chicago to like gun movies. Yeah. No and, Naruto. Like, a nine minute song. Yeah. Or Naruto. Or yeah. Yeah. Naruto. Yeah. Naruto. We're all chemicals, vitamins and minerals and Vicodin with inner tubes wrapped around the arm. To see the vein like a chicken on the barn. Top cat chat, let's begin another yawn. Let's fly sauce of cheese, or is it chicken palm? The roosters don't fly. <laughs> but yeah, I, mean, wow. I mean, speaking of painting, didn't uh, he paint the cover art? He did, actually, yeah. Yeah, uh, like, that's some serious that dude, artistry. That dude, like, like, that, he's like, on. Exactly. Mm -hmm. He's an actual artist. Mm -hmm. You don't get that a lot nowadays. Mm -hmm. Like you can tell just what, how he feels his own music. He's an actual artist. Mm -hmm. That's the truth, and that's something I really appreciate from him. You know, like he's going, he's still doing it. You know, like he's in his thirties now. Now, understand this: that was a contemporary hip hop album, uh -huh. and I say that just because I don't want you going to the album thinking it's going to be like. If you go check it out right now, it's not going to be some crazy, mm -hmm. like, overhyped waka flocka, like, mm -hmm. I'm in your face at the club, mm -hmm. I'm banging bitches, whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely, I mean, it's really political, too. And, yeah. And, like, even if you're not into the political side of it, you can listen to the album, mm -hmm. but it's never going to be something that you just play. Yeah, exactly. Like, you just play on your side. Like, I'll be, That's I'll one be thing I do like about it, where it is, like, you know, it sounds good enough where it is, like, you can enjoy it. Like, I remember, like, listening to Run Jewels. I could not enjoy it because, like, they're just going so fast and... It just tired me out, you know, just trying to hear what he's saying. Lupe doesn't do that. Like, he has, like, multiple meanings in his songs, and, like, if you want to explicate it, you can. But if you don't care to do that, then you can still enjoy it. But I wouldn't say this is the album for, like, Lupe beginners to start no, on. No. Yeah, like, definitely, like... That's just, like, someone who likes hip-hop. Exactly. Like, like if you like hip-hop, yeah, you know, like, if you've been a Lupe fan, like we have been, definitely you want to check this out. I do think it holds up. Uh, you know. If you're not into hip hop though, mm -hmm. this album might actually work for you. I yeah. actually did have a friend, that Canadian chick. Yeah, she was into it. Really? Like, she was digging it deep. I think like, she's smart though. I'm not gonna say you're, you if you're stupid, you <laughs> Lupe. You know what I mean? Well, like, I, mean, I mean, that might be a fair right. assessment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was like, well, I mean, maybe, man. I don't know. I mean, Soldier Boy. Whatever. Yeah, <laughs> relax. Relax. Lupe lyrical, right? <laughs> Uh, I mean, Soto was attacking everybody though. That dude right. was mad. His career flopped. Oh, right. yeah, right. So oh. he was swinging at everyone. He was teeing off. But right. um, Lupe of all guys. So whatever. can we like rate the album out of ten? You is do that, it. Is that Ooh, fair? Hey, go ahead. Yeah. Rough. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Do it. I was gonna do seven point five. Okay, I think yeah, that's. Yeah, good. I thought it was low. I think that's. I mean, I, I, that's very average. Yeah, I mean, it, that's what I thought. That's how I felt about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it's a you, solid Lupe album. And that's like a solid hip hop album. Okay. That's about it. Seven point five. Okay. Okay. I mean, no, 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 I'm not saying I'm not. I would. I wasn't trying to make any faces. Just didn't. Yeah, didn't do you, right? what, what do you I mean, what do you think? What do you think? I mean, uh, I was gonna rate higher than 7.5, but I wasn't sure. Um, no, I, go ahead. I never Just, thought of an actual score for this. Mm -hmm. That's um, a good idea, though. I like it. Yeah. Wow. Uh, eight point five. Only because I, I say this. Eight point five. Yeah. Just because it's not. The pinnacle of albums mm -hmm. where it's like a nine mm -hmm. or something, yeah, maybe eight point two five. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it's definitely an eight, yeah. Because I've heard, like, I've heard enough hip hop albums. Go to Spotify, guys. T go to the hip hop area mm -hmm. for albums. There's so many garbage albums out there, yeah. That it's just like it's so flooded with garbage mm -hmm. that whenever you do get a, like a Lupe album, mm -hmm. they're never bad. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it'll, it'll definitely be an eight. Exactly. Like it, he's makes. like a high scoring guy, you know, who has Naturally. made some B's. He's right? never made a bad uh -huh. like a bad album. Exactly. Like, albums that you might not be the craziest about, but they're not bad ever. Exactly. Like right. I can tell you, I can tell you some artists right now that made bad albums. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. People you never even heard of. Mm -hmm. Like there's a list. That sounds like that has to be another episode right there. Yeah. For me, I'll give it, honestly, I guess, like, you know, listen to you guys, I would say an 8, because, like, I really did enjoy it, but definitely wasn't as enjoyable, like, as his older stuff, and, like... Yeah, it's not the cool. Yeah, exactly. And Nothing's gonna be the cool. Yeah, you know? like, which is, I guess, is disappointing to think about, it, but, you know, like, I guess, like, one thing that sort of made me, like, I liked, but also I didn't like as much is, like, I have to... Go rap genius to be able to understand the song like at all, you know, mm -hmm. uh, or the album. Again, contemporary, mm -hmm. contemporary music you just kind of listen. Mm -hmm. and There's a lot of times like something you just play. That's sort of hard for me to do stuff. though. Like I always sort of like looking into things, you know. Gosling, like, man. Yeah, yeah. This dude, this is a that's me, right? So J Cole. Okay, so this guy right here, Sam, he got me into J Cole, like with uh, Friday Night Lights. 
way back in the day. And then we went to his concert way back in the day. Yeah, that was dope. And that was I'm, before Cold World came out. Yeah, uh, way back in the day. Right before. And I've been a J. Cole fan ever since. Uh huh. Say what? Bitch, I'm about to blow up. Hey, I came up, I warmed up. The next step, bitch, I'm about to blow up. Now, don't it sound legendary? Living up the resurrected dead and buried. This for niggas who ain't satisfied with secondary. I never understood why people say that he was lame or like boring. Like actually, boring is the word they always use to describe him. Yeah, they always say, "Oh, he's got a dull flow," mm -hmm. or "Oh, I can't listen to him without getting get sleepy or something." Yeah. I think it's just like you gotta understand the story. Mm -hmm. You gotta be, you know, you have to follow through his journey a little bit mm -hmm. before it starts getting really catchy. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's the kind of dude that you listen to, and it's like, oh, hey, yeah, I know this guy. Mm -hmm. You kind of get to know him whenever you listen to his music. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the, the key part mm -hmm. to appreciating this album in particular. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, he's not. Um, look, when you look at uh, J. Cole, especially if you weren't on, the, on his train to begin with, because mm -hmm. uh, like everyone who's listening to J. Cole from the beginning, like back in the Who That days, mm -hmm. Who did? Uh, even before yeah. that, man. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. warm up. That mm -hmm. was my shit. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like when you listen to him back then, like, I remember listening to him when I was first started college. I'm 23 now, so that was like 19 ish. Mm -hmm. So it's just like now it's just kind of like um, you expect when you look at a light when you hear there's a light skinned dude making dope music <laughs> you're like oh it's gonna be like you know we're about to pour bottles on some hoes <laughs> you know what I mean like uh -huh. that's, that's what light skinned dudes do like that's, uh -huh. what, that's what they're the, that's what you do right you know, <laughs> it's pretty true right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going right to I mean, he went, yeah, I mean, he, we'll, we'll show you guys a picture one of these days. And he, Bro, he relax. <laughs> You're so stupid. Uh, um, but my thing is, like, he, he's not really in that aspect of things. Like, he, he had his little moment where he was saying things. That's what everyone does when they, get, when they first get famous. Yeah. They have, like, the little blowout. Mm -hmm. uh, but J. Cole is much more... Um, he, he's really you can tell he's really he's, an, he's an individual who likes to learn things mm -hmm. he yeah, likes to definitely. like express what he's learning to people and mm -hmm. he'll tell you through his experience what he's seen mm -hmm. so it's not as much um like hoes on hoes on hoes on racks yeah what you supposed to do when the OG niggas don't get it lost what was once theirs but they won't quit it homie it's a new era middle finger to the suit wearers let me show you how to move in a room for the dudes that don't got a fucking clue how to do this probably work with you so to them this a rubik my president is black but my dude <laughs> is like so you know, so you know what I mean? like, yeah. it's, it's a lot more it's actually like, substantial yeah i mean it was yeah this whole album was super personal mm -hmm. yeah. yeah like no features no guest producers he's all talking about if he wanted to say what he wanted to say mm -hmm. I like Respect that. It. it came out perfect uh -huh. because every album he's gradually gotten better. Exactly. And then he's yeah. like, you know what? Fuck trying to make music for these people. Exactly. Mm -hmm. like, Let me just say what I want to say. Exactly. He finally got it. Yeah, because like when he started with his mixtapes, like, you know, it was trying to get on there, you but like tell. it was his thing. He and was then, hungry and his mixtapes were dope. Exactly. But his first album, it was just oh, like Silent oh. Story, yeah, right? Like, he got knocked like, down, man. Yeah, right? Exactly. Like, I, still, like, I still don't listen to Silent Story. Like, yeah, like, I, I listen to, like, I still listen to two songs, like Rise and Shine. That's always been my jam. Yeah. And then Who That? Speaking of positions, just witness how I elevated. Real niggas celebrated. Finger fuck whoever hated. My life accelerated. Because that was on. I had to wait my turn. I didn't really miss it. I didn't really miss it. I didn't really miss it. The playground? Oh, you probably don't look for it. Man, I forget what I just said. Go ahead. Okay, I was like, dang. Maybe. I don't even know. Now you got me a little sad that I don't know that. Yeah, busting, I'm going off. Sting like a beef float, like it's Noah's Ark. You know it's hard, flow is sharp, like I'm blowing darts. Niggas bear with me. These hoes out here looking like some spare kids. So, so, like, yeah, with this one, like, it was very personal. I mean, like, yeah, Silent Stories, like, he made work a song. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Let me down, right? And then, and then, Born Center, like he came back up, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm corny, but and, you know, but I'm st like, you know, like he was still he was feeling himself, you know, like he was like, hey, like I'm gonna drop the same this album same day as Jesus came out, and uh, he said that on the on the album, yeah, and, I that. like he was like, I'm gonna go toe toe these guys, and Yeezy, this album, Jesus and uh, Jay Z, yeah, he, uh -huh. he released it like the day after, mm -hmm. that, like, yeah, yeah. uh huh. Yeah. Hey. yeah. Spinning in circles, live my life without rehearsal. If I die today, my nigga, was it business? Was it personal? Should this be my last breath? I'm blessed because it was purposeful. Never got the church to worship, Lord, but please be merciful. I feel like those came out, it was a good day for him. Yeah, it was. It still is. Yeah. My <laughs> nigga <laughs> was a popular drink, and it still is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was that reference, so that's good. Right. Uh, <laughs> that's so good. 
<laughs> but yeah, this album was very personal. Like where like he did not even care. Like you know, like, he was like, yeah, I'm corny, but I'll just say what I want. Yeah, like, oh, like yeah. I was so embarrassed for him. I was I like, 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 I was uh, blushing and shit. I was like, oh my <laughs> like, god. I, like, I, I was just like, oh, J. Cole, but I was like, that, like, Dude, that's that your bro. Like, like, honestly, like, it felt like, yeah, that's the homie that does say corny things every now and then. Like, you know, yeah. that comes over. Yeah, that's what's up. And, like, honestly, that's the feeling. Like, it's like, this is your brother, like, who, you know, you've been hanging out with. That's the feeling mm-hmm. I'm into. Like, mm-hmm. that's what I like, I like to see from mm-hmm. my hip hop artists. Because, like, I can't. I don't know you, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So like when you speak to me and I, I feel like you're actually in the room with me, like mm-hmm. we're brothers. Mm-hmm. Like back when Kanye used to do back in the yeah. day, or Lupe used to talk to me, like uh-huh. I, I feel like Lupe literally like I could say like he was talking when I was yeah. going up. Uh-huh. Like, even though I was doing dumb stuff anyway, it was like having a good influence there. Yeah. Uh J. Cole does this thing where he's just like he tells you about his first time having sex. He tells you about, you know, his mom and his relationship with her and his ex girl who actually he recently got back with and married, I believe. Yeah, so, yeah, well, that, was, that was a lucky son of a bitch. Like he uh-huh. had he dated a girl in college, had all those albums come out without her. Uh huh. Like he, I was they, wondering they the story him. about that. He yeah, talks about it. He he straight yeah. slept around on her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, because I, I I heard that, and then like because like I remember like even like Born Center, like where he was like run away, you know? Yeah. Cause yeah. He, the thing is like that first love stuff, like mm. you'll feel it, man. It's gonna hit you in the chest. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, you always want it back to an extent. Yeah. To an extent, like yeah. you always going it back. Uh-huh. And, I mean, he just kind of talked about it, and then he got back with it just recently, and mm. I'm like. Happy ever after, I guess. I don't know, but mm-hmm. it sounds good. Mm-hmm. And it was like I felt good for him. Mm-hmm. I was, yeah, you know, exactly. Good for exactly. You, you know? It's like your friend telling him, telling you about his stories and stuff, exactly. and giving you advice. Exactly. Like he's like being broke is better, so embrace it while you got it. And love yeah, yours, man. like mm-hmm. the whole end of the album. Is love just, yours. Oh, it's just dope. Mm-hmm. It was just like him just telling you, <laughs> telling you how he feels, and that I can just, I can respect that a lot. Yeah. Love yours is sick, man. Exactly. Also, I need to go download that right now. I don't know why. Right. I don't know why. Either. better. Life that's better than yours. No such thing. Like honestly, that's a great album. Money like, happiness. you know, songs got me like pumped up. You know, like Fire Squad. You know, like Fire Squad. Yeah. Yeah. or GOMD. Yeah. Uh, I like role models. That was oh, no favorite. role models. Yo, that's yeah, no role song. models. It's, role models. It started with a. Uh, uh, First of Peace, Uncle Phil. Yeah, First of Peace, Rest of Peace, Uncle Phil. Nah, mm. for real. As soon as you said that, mm. I'll turn the album off. I was like, 10 out of 10. <laughs> honestly, you're right. Yeah, honestly, honestly, like, honestly, like, I was, I was like, yo, bro, that's that's what's up right there. Like, <laughs> I remember it, I died earlier that year. I, I cried with my homie. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Not really cried, but, uh, like, I but felt, was, I felt yeah, like... Uh, I, mm. I felt sad, for sure, yeah. Man. Like, definitely. It's still so hard to believe that Uncle Phil's gone, but... That's crazy, dude. Yeah. But yeah, man. Like honestly, like this album, like really hit it, like hit out the park. Like it was very different, but like I feel like it did like the best job. And honestly, this is my favorite out of the three. Like yeah, whereas, like, too. like even though like I yeah, I am a huge Lupe stan, you know, and like and like, I'm really liking Logic a lot more. You know, this one was the most enjoyable. Like oh, it, yeah. it, you know, it doesn't take too much to listen to it. it does not. It, it's, it's good. It's it's straight talks. Yeah, it's very easy listening, like comparatively to you know the other two. Um, like the, the topics are not complex, but like they are substantial, and they're really enjoyable to listen to. You know, like whether like you want like a slow song like apparently or um, January twenty eighth, you know, to like the hype hype song. It would be really intellectual to like want to you know enjoy this song. Exactly. Like the thing the thing that Lupe has a problem feeling a lot of times, but I feel like he knows it too. Mm-hmm. Lupe is a genius. He freestyles uh. in like. In these oh, real cryptic sweet. ways, uh-huh. yeah, it's and you'll be like, dope. you'll listen to the freestyle a couple times, like even one sway, you'll be like, wow, like, the dude is smart. Mm, he um, very is, yeah. Exactly. And sometimes the problem is you can't keep up with him. Mm. Oh, like, I Lupe, but I am excited to see like what he's gonna be doing in the future. Um, J Cole, I'm excited to see what he's gonna be doing. In I the think future. J Cole's in his prime. I think he's yeah, like right yeah. at the peak of where artists are. I yeah. think Logic's still coming up. Mm-hmm. You know, Lupe's kind of been around for a while. Uh, J Cole is right there. Like, I feel right like that's perfect. The, that's perfect. Perfect spot. Uh, you guys want to rate this album too? Oh, yeah, man. That's, oh. that's got to be a nine. Mm-hmm. Nine. That's yeah. A nine I, honestly, yeah, I feel, yeah. That nine, eight point seven five. Yeah. Like, it's still here. You can, yeah. you just, like I said, give it a, if you get tired of the songs, give mm-hmm. it like a month or two. Yeah. Come back and play them again. Yeah. I feel like, honestly, it's his best album album. I mean, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah definitely. That shit was dope. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, man. That's the stuff right there. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time to talk about the Pimp a Butterfly. Man. So, yeah. And, yeah. 
hope you guys enjoyed the conversation. Hope, hope you guys have some opinions on it too. Hopefully you guys will go check those albums out. We're going to put them in the links for you guys. Please comment on us, subscribe to us, you know, let us know what you think and join us for our next shows, you know, make, we're hoping to have some more guest speakers, more whatever, you know. We love seeing a different point of view. Exactly, you know, like if you didn't like something, let us know. We want to give us some subject matter too. Exactly. Like we can drop whatever you want to talk about. Exactly. We we talk about all different types of stuff, nerd stuff. Nerd if we stuff. don't know enough, then we right. might just bring you on. Talk right. about it, honestly. <laughs> exactly, you know. Don't don't bring us some quantum physics because we're probably not just going to, like, we're going to ignore that comment altogether. Oh, who knows? Yeah, so yeah, so this is Cloudcast and stay fly, y'all.